deportation is a legal process where immigrants are being detained and forcefully removed from their homes in the country and sent to their home country. It is a process that separates families, children from their parents, and traumatizes generations of immigrants. People are being separated from their families and kids can have lasting mental health issues, such as sleeping changes, anxiety, sadness, anger, and withdrawal. In addition, the loss of income from being deported creates financial instability for the family members left behind, as well as the person leaving the country. Although the United States has benefited from immigration economically, historically, the United States has made it difficult for immigrants to enter the country and difficult for immigrants already in the country to stay. Until the 1920s, the border between Mexico and the United States was open. In 1929, the U.S. government required Mexicans to obtain visas in order to enter the country and install patrol along the border. With these new requirements, the United States deported 82,000 Mexicans throughout the Great Depression. However, in 1942, Congress enacted the Basiles Program, which brought immigrant labor to the United States to work agricultural jobs that were worked by people who were serving in the military during World War II. Immigrants came from Mexico expecting to learn valuable skills and higher pay than they were earning in Mexico. However, immigrants working those jobs were exposed to low pay, discrimination, and dangerous chemicals. When the Becerros program ended in 1964, people risked staying in the country illegally in order to have more opportunities and a better life for themselves and their families. In addition, the low pay from the work program made it impossible for the people to afford to go back to Mexico and return to the United States. The Midwest became one of the largest populations for immigrants throughout the 70s and 80s because of the promise of the industrial and agricultural opportunities. Chicago trailed only LA as the urban area with the largest concentration of undocumented immigrants throughout the period. Mexican immigration to Wisconsin continued to grow after the 1970s as factories, tanneries, foundries, canners, and meat packers began to more heavily recruit Mexican natives throughout both legal and extra-legal means to fill an expanding number of grueling, low-paying positions. The impacts of deportation go beyond economic loss and instability. People who illegally stayed in the United States after the Basiles program took advantage of the opportunities the United States provides, such as education, protection, security, and stable homes to raise their families. Being forcefully removed from that stability and loved ones take a huge toll on those who are deported. It's, it's really hard because usually most of us lose our job and families. Some of it don't come back, but don't have the chance to get back here. And I got deported back in, I think it was 2008, 2009. Everything started when I went to the airport to pick up my kids coming from Mexico. I got pulled over by a cop. After that, they just pull me out of the car and take me to jail. Spent two months in jail for that. Get deported back to Mexico and spent 10 years until my legal situation can be fixed and get back to the United States. It was hard to get communication with my kids. One of the little ones got sick twice to the point that she almost died just for the allergies that she has. So trust me, it's not something easy for me just to know by phone that my kid almost died, that my kid is in the hospital, so I wasn't doing anything bad. For the people that is not doing good at all, sell drugs, do drugs, do some of the bad stuff, like get drunk and drive or kill somebody. That people just, I feel like it's not good to have that kind of people here. But on the other side, for the people that actually work, just spend time with the family and do the best they can every day to bring money home, I don't think they deserve that. The experience of deportation is undeniably difficult. 
Deportation disrupts not only the lives of those removed, but also the lives of their friends and family who stayed in the U.S. Many people in similar situations experience them getting taken away from their families, financial problems, and the hardship of being in a foreign country. The lack of physical presence makes it incredibly difficult to maintain meaningful relationships and support one another, especially during times of tribulation.